Marxism. Karl Marx and his friend Frederick Engels spearheaded the movement of socialism when they published the Communist Manifesto in 1848. The Communist Manifesto interprets the role of working class in the past and the future and gives a clear call to workers to unite for securing their emancipation besides the communist manifesto marx and engels are the authors of das kapital which explains the basic features of marxism marx was an atheist but exploited workers revered him as god and a holy savior and the remaining people in the world hated him and to the capitalist he was satan basic features of marxism are as follows first dialectical materialism dialectic means discussion but in political parlance it means the study of contradictions marx was influenced by hegel's theory of dialectics which explained the progress of civilization through the process of thesis antithesis and synthesis Hegel held the view that idea was the essence of the universe and the social institutions were the result of the changing form of idea on the other hand marx believed that matter was the essence of the universe and the social institutions were the result of the changing material conditions According to Marx there exist one dominant idea in history which, ass- which assumes the role of thesis the thesis is confronted and defeated by an antithesis this confrontation resulted in the production of a synthesis which incorporated the valuable elements of both thesis and antithesis with the passage of time the synthesis becomes the dominant idea in society which becomes the thesis and it goes through the same process until a perfect material conditions comes into existence thus the struggle between the economic class the for- is the force which paves the way for social progress the above explanation has been explained through the diagram second materialistic interpretation of history Marx applied the principle of dialectical materialism to the interpretation of history. According to Marx, economic conditions determine historical phenomena. This has been clearly explained by Marx through four stages of past historical developments. after looking at the diagram important points that has to be noted are as follows first first it is observed that changes in the mode of production gives rise to different social formation which are associated to different historical period for example agriculture 
based production gives rise to feudal society and the historical period is medieval machine based production gives rise to capitalist society the historical period is modern second the political and legal structure religion morals law literature art and culture the mental attitude of the people are all determined by mode of production every every stage there are two classes exploiter and exploited due to exploitation there is class struggle between the two society goes through different stages where the dominant class is overthrown by a social revolution and their place is taken by a new social class which later becomes a dominant class which is also overthrown by a socialist revolution fourth the end result is the establishment of socialism, socialism which is on a transitional period and during this period all traces of capitalism will be wiped out and a classless society will eventually be established thus each stage is better than the earlier one fifth according to marx capitalism carries with it the seeds of its own destruction third theory of surplus value human labor is the creator of economic value though the laborer is the real creator of value the capitalist does not pay him his full due the laborer gets only a part of it labor creates two values necessary and surplus the wage paid to the worker is equal to the necessary value the remaining part of the worker's due is taken away by the capitalist the difference between the value of a commodity and the actual payment made to the worker represents surplus value the surplus value is misappropriated by the capitalist employer this illegal income is known as the profit the greater exploitation of the worker the higher is the surplus value as the worker does not receive his just share revolution is inevitable fourth theory of class war at every stage in history there is class struggle for example between free man and slave lord and serf patrician and plebeian there is hatred and antagonism the oppressor exploits the oppressed to appropriate the surplus value for themselves in this fight there is reconstitution of society and the ruin 
of the contending classes. Marx believed that the French Revolution 1789 as a reaction against exploiting feudalism. It was a bourgeois revolution to overthrow the privileged class which was robbing the underprivileged class. Fifth, law of concentration of capital. According to Marx, there is concentration of wealth in the hands of a few people. The owners of the means of production multiply their capital. In course of time, the number of capitalists with wealth reduced. This increased the number of proletariat. It resulted in clash where the proletariat overthrew the capitalist and landlords. Sixth, dictatorship of the proletariat. The hostility between the bourgeois and the proletariat resulted in a revolution in which capitalist will be overthrown and the dictatorship of the proletariat will be established. In the transitional period, the proletariat will capture all capitalist property, abolish all rights of inheritance and centralize means of production, distribution, transport and communication and the worker will be paid according to his work. Seventh, withering away of the state. In the transitional stage, the state will be used by the proletariat to destroy any resistance from the bourgeois. The dictatorship of the proletariat will bring social and economic justice. Hence, there will be no thesis, antithesis and class war. Labor will be paid each according to his ability and each according to his need. There will be no exploitation. There will be abolition of all classes and a society of free and equals will begin to exist. Thus, the ground was prepared for the disappearance or withering of the state and establishment of a classless society. The complete disappearance of the state marks the zenith or the highest glory of Marxian socialism. Eighth, religion, OPM of the people. Marx was opposed to religion. Marx linked religion with capitalist exploitation. Capitalists use religion as a cover to conceal their exploitation as well as a tool to deceive the masses. Thus, Marx believed that religion acted as opium on the minds of the people. Ninth, revolution is inevitable. The economic conditions depends on the principles of the ruling class. The owners of the means of production think the system is economically efficient. There is equality in society and philosophically harmonious with the laws of nature. Due to this type of belief, by the capitalist, the property less revolt against the exploiters. There is a difference between socialism and communism. First one, socialism stands for common ownership of all means of production but not consumption. Whereas 
communism stands for common ownership of the means of production and consumption second socialism is evolutionary and believes in peaceful and constitutional means to change society whereas communism is revolutionary and may adopt violence to change society third socialism believes in the agency of the state through which it can bring changes whereas communism believes that state is an instrument of exploitation fourth socialism is not opposed to democracy whereas communism is democracy to democracy merits of marxism first one impact of the theory if the capitalist had followed the path written by robert owen and compromised with the workers marxism would not have had such a tremendous impact second savior of workers workers were in need of a leader because of the exploitation by the capitalist marx through his teachings made it clear that labor is the only real creator of value and the employer is robbing him of his dues marx therefore called upon the workers of the world to unite this provided hope to the workers all over the world third change in capitalist attitude marxism captured the imagination of the workers and helped the workers to unite and revolt marxism created fear among capitalist this fear of revolution forced the governments and the capitalist to adopt welfare measures the merits of marxism first ignored non economic factors factors like language religion political conditions which shape history have been ignored second class war misleading the theory of class war in every stage of history between the haves and have nots is misleading moreover marx has forgotten about the middle class who formed the backbone of society third too much importance to labor marx gave too much importance to labor and ignored other factors like land capital business organization infrastructure which determine the value of a commodity fourth state not an instrument of oppression it is wrong to say that the state is an instrument of oppression because state is important for implementing welfare schemes and for providing security to life fifth state not withering according to marx state will wither away so far in countries like russia china cuba show that the state did not wither away instead has become powerful where an individual's life and liberty is under the control of the state sixth blaming religion instead of criticizing the weakness of those who have put religion to wrong use Marx has criticized religion itself. Marxism has given more importance to materialism and ignored the spiritual and ethical values of life.